Hi, I'm Loralee Siemens. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that's kind of annoying to me. So tell me what you think about this. Um, so I was watching uh, this video clip. I actually really love it. And it's this one, I think it might be Jimmy Kimball. I'm not sure. It's one of the um, nighttime comic people. I don't actually watch any of those shows. So I'm not sure which one it is. But they're interviewing people out on the street and they had a map of the world and people were supposed to um, say what country. So they like, point to the country name and nobody could do it except for this little kid that I'm assuming is homeschooled. I'm just, I'm not sure, but it kind of looked like it. Anyway, so people were laughing like, wow, this guy is so stupid. Like, how can you not know any of this? But what we don't know is that they actually don't teach geography in schools anymore. And you might not be aware of this because I wasn't. I saw my kids outlined for what they're going to be learning in school, for high school especially. And I'm like, great. In grade nine, they do geography. That's perfect. Uh, because especially today, not that I'm a big fan of globalism, but it's coming. You kind of need to know where countries are. I have a basic idea of the structure of our planet. But they don't, they don't learn any geography. So just so you know, they just needed a place to dump all of the um, propaganda about environmentalism and really socialism. And so they just stuck it in the geography class and your kids do not know any geography. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I bought for my family that I love. And even for high school, it's so cool. So there's this puzzle, okay? and. This is um, the world puzzle, and what's really cool about it, and I'm gonna put a link to these puzzles, see if you can see here. I'm gonna put a link to these um, below. But what's really cool is that the pieces, as you can see here is a piece, the pieces come in the shape of the countries. So, well here, some of them have a couple of countries all together. Uh, I got all this ocean here at the top, so it's not really helpful. Let's see here. Oh, here's one. Okay, so you can see. Let's see if I can focus here. All right. So that I really, really love. So what I do, there's Greenland. Um, oh, here's China. Okay. So I'll tell you what I do. I, in the summertime, I put these puzzles out on one of our tables. I'll put one puzzle out per week. And so a lot of times the kids will just come and they're sitting and they're talking and they'll just start playing around with it and putting it together. And then sometimes I'll have like a treat. I'll say, hey guys, put that puzzle together and I got a whole carton of ice cream and you guys can just go to town and eat the whole carton if you want as soon as the puzzle's put together. So I kind of do stuff like that like maybe two or three times a week, getting them to put the puzzle together, getting them to learn geography. So I have this one, which I just showed you. This is the world one. And then last summer I got this one which is Canada and United States. So Canada is pretty easy. We only have a few provinces and they're really big. But then you get into the states, it takes longer because there's tons of states. But once again, all the pieces are in the shape. So you can see big ones like Northwest Territory. So Canada's got big ones. And then you got little tiny ones like this for the states. <laughs> so you had to put them all together. This summer, I'm gonna be getting the Europe one because in grade 10, kids, are supposed to in high school be learning about World War I and World War II and they really need to know Europe in order to be able to understand World War I and World War II. So this summer we're going to be doing Europe, although I'll probably be putting this World ones out and the Canadian American one out too. So I suggest this. My kids actually have fun with it. They say like, they go, oh, the puzzles are coming out and they'll kind of roll their eyes. But a lot of times they'll come in and they're just sitting and talking at the table and putting it together. And it really has helped them to learn geography. It's kind of sad that even though our kids go to school all year in the summer, we've got to teach them geography, but they're not going to learn it in school. There is, unless, I don't think there's any place in all of high school where they will actually learn geography. So this is a recommendation that I have. I really like it. I like putting them together. I learned from it and I highly recommend it. So I'm going to have a link to those below so that you can check it out. I'm Loralee Siemens. For more videos, blogs, and podcasts, you can check out my website, loraleesiemens.com. And in the meantime, learn some geography.